So this is a utility room down in the basement. The plan is to put a laundry sink here and a toilet here. This sewer line here, we replaced it before. This comes from one bathroom on the first floor. And this one comes from a bath, two bathrooms on the second floor. So I'm probably gonna cut the rest of the metal out here. I gotta take this floor out. Take it out to over here somewhere, run plastic. So now I have the floor laid out where I'm gonna cut, black line. Now there's two options. Either dry cutting and make a dusty mess everywhere. Wet cutting, making a wet muddy mess everywhere. Or I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the sump pump. I just traced it and did hammer drill holes. And then I just chased in between the holes with a grinder and a shop vac and there was no mess. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Yep, million holes to drill, but no mess. So the holes are drilled. Took me about an hour and a half. 308 holes. I drilled them all the way through. Now I just got to chase it with a grinder and break it out. Well, here's where we're at. Gonna have to tie these three together. These two. And then I'm gonna put the toilet right here. Hopefully, I got enough fittings to figure this out. Got the monster cut out of there. turns at a minimum little 22 and a half just flushing the toilet now checking for leaks and this will be the new toilet here everything's got a nice pitch to it Like you lost an arm in battle. Drains are done. Got about inch and a half, two inches of stone in. Ready for concrete. All right. Concrete's in. I can't tell you how many people I've seen just leave it like this. But the key is to get it as flat as possible and then wait for the shine to go. Once it looks flat, that's when you can put a finish. If you leave it like this, it'll look nasty the next day. So now we just wait for the water to dissipate. try to put a smooth finish on it. So 
It's about an hour later. There's no water laying on top anymore. Now you can put your finish. Right now I'm just trying to get in the final spots. Call this here a mag, but after I use this nice flat, smooth trout, this will flatten the bag out. Just want to get rid of all your high spots. to do holding this in one hand and trial in the other hand so but here it is the next day came out pretty good still green we we'll lay out all the pipes today already got the shut offs up there for the sink on the plumbing for the toilet and the sink probably put them in today so we put the toilet and the sink in just temporary because we're going to be building a wall here Let's see I left some space plus we're probably going to epoxy the floor we got to change this door we got to fix this nonsense tile somebody did see a lot of people reviewing toilets online and saying oh there's not enough water in the bowl the toilets no good well here's the problem if you go in you'll see the hose like this this hose isn't there to fill the tank this hose is to fill the bowl it has to be in here and you see they give you a little spot here some of them are different they have a little clip but that needs to be there that's what fills the bowl so let's try it bring the toilet See, this is the fill valve here. This is the fill valve that's filling the tank. And this hose here is to fill the bowl. It doesn't look like there's anything coming out of it. There it is. Very slow. Tiny bit in there, that's no good. So far, no leaks. It's just temporary. I'm gonna have to take all this out and do the floor, do the wall. See the water filling in the bowl? has to be in the tube. If the hose is out here somewhere, it's no good. I'll take this wall down here, reframe it, put a new door, get rid of all the moldy drywall. Yeah, this basement's been flooding for years. Two by threes. We're gonna come back with two by fours and frame it properly. So two by threes, huh? Can I at least get them 16 on center? Well, no. Why would you get that? I'll give you 25 and a half. Jeez.
And look at this. It's a nice tasty black mold. Previous homeowner tried to hide. Just keep painting it. That'll fix it.